Let's revere our school of faith, ever true, loyal true, for our colors white and blue. Dear Princeton High School, our love, our pride, we've always held you as our shining light, our joys, our sorrows, hopes, dreams, and fears. Greenbrier East 
what region they're in and who they have to play to make it to the state tournament this year. Okay, Bob, we, uh, on March the 6th, which is next Thursday, we play Nicholas County for the sectional. It's just uh, Greenbrier East and Nicholas County. And the winner of that sectional will probably play Buckhannon in that uh, section at West Virginia Wesleyan College. Buckhannon has an outstanding team this year. And I feel that uh, it'll either be between Greenbrier East and Buckhannon that will represent that particular region in the state tournament. Greenbrier East has a very tall, talented uh, basketball team, don't they? Uh, yes, we, we're relatively tall. Uh, uh, we can put a front line out there of 6'4", 6'3", to 6'4", and a back line of about 6'1". Uh, but we're a little under the weather tonight. Uh, our big boy's been sick, uh, Beard, and Frankie Johnson's just come down with uh, with a nose problem. He had some burst blood vessels in his nose, and he's supposed to be in bed for the next three or four days, so that's going to hurt us a little bit. Johnson's not here tonight at all? No, Johnson will not play tonight. Oh, I didn't know that. These two teams met on February 1st. Greenbrier East won 78-60. Princeton shot a 29% uh, from the field, which was one of the things in that game. But what does Princeton have to do to be competitive in this game tonight? Well, I feel that uh, probably where Princeton could be real tough is if they get that ball to Miller. Miller, uh, once he gets the ball, he is real tough inside. He can score. And if he doesn't score, he gets fouled. So I, I felt like at the game we played up there, that it's probably the best defensive game has been played on him, and he still probably got 25, 26 points. I think he got around, I think he got 20 in that game. And uh, thank you very much, Mac Parks, and uh, we're looking forward to a very exciting game here tonight. We will return to Princeton High School following these messages. No longer four right now. We've got a full house, a noisy one. And we're waiting on the Spartans to come out. As Max Parks just climbs up over the rail to go down and get a seat, and we get Charlie Wright moving in. Charlie's going to be on one of the statues with us tonight. And uh, Charlie, as you get your headset on, we say welcome aboard. And when you pull the mic down, you can answer it. Thank you, Glenn. Good to see you here tonight. Look for a exciting ball game. I think we're going to have a dandy. We're going to be back with basketball. First, let's pause for this message. And forward, number 13, a senior six foot two. Greenbrier East being introduced right now as they introduce the starting lineup. David Darnell being introduced. Darnell hurt us over there quite a bit. And Doug Beard. Now Doug's the wheel off. He's a big fella. About 6'6", looks like he's about 240. And he's tough to live with on that bucket. The Tigers got Allen. And Bugis. Now he's the quarterback. He's the guy that we're going to have to put the pressure on to keep from setting it up. And uh, Jay Gillespie will be introduced. And the other starter is David Whitman. Now for the home standing Tigers. As they're still with the ground ball standing right down to our left. And they're going to introduce the seniors. Bill's not here tonight. Bill's at home. He's recuperating from surgery on that ankle. Bill, uh, you know everybody's thinking about you, so they just give you a plug over the PA. John Hoffberger going out right now. Keys, as they call him. And Russell Slater, the other senior on the team. Stephon Murray being introduced. Stephon Carter forward. And James DeWitt. They call him brother. There's some signs in the gymnasium tonight that people might be interested in. There's one that says, Dunk it, be it. And the other one says, Show them some magic, Miller. By the way, Jim is quite an amateur magician. You know that? I had heard um, something about that. Uh, uh, he is uh, quite a good So the Tigers going out with uh, Jimmy Miller to wheel off. And the guards will be Keith and St. Clair. As uh, the official over in Mingo County, Fred May, uh, Fred Garrett, Mary May. As the Spartans are on the floor right now, they're sitting out around the center circle waiting on the Tigers to join them. As the Tigers huddle around Coach Ralph Ball right down to our left. And going to the uh, last few. Uh, Words of counsel, is that 
And it will be said they're getting the last few words of counsel. So now the Tigers come out. As Miller and Beard shake hands, and they'll be moving into jumping now. The Spartans is the only team that the Tigers have not beaten this year. That's on their schedule. As they lost to them over at Greenbury East, and they'd like to get a lead. Beard moves in. Miller moves in. Waiting on the official now. The official kicks with the clock. He is moving in. Ready? And they toss it up. Controlled by the Tigers. And Miller kept it to Eve. Eve has got it under control. Give it to St. Clair. They'll start the offense. The 1-2-2 two, two zone set up right now for Greenbrier. Eve with the ball. Wing with this in right side. Back to St. Clair. Top of the key. To the wing. Deep in the corner. Holds it overhead. Looks underneath. Puts it on the floor. Now he'll fire off the baseline. No good. Here's down to Murray. Goes up. Back to. And Murray's got a back. And we've got a jump ball. As Murray going up for the shot. The ball was not loose. Murray went after it. And was tied up for the jump. And in there to jump against him will be David Darnell. Darnell and Murray in the Preston Frisco circle. Murray's in, Darnell's in, and the official puts the ball up, hit by the Spartans, controlled by Beard. Beard gets it back to Whitmer, he'll give it to Fugus, and he'll bring it to the front court. Pete Fugus, controls it, takes it to the front court, looks over to Coach, they want to get some instruction. The Tigers in the 2-3 modified zone, and Fugus stops the key with it. To the right side, to Darnell, goes to the corner, firing out of the corner, off the iron, no good, rebound by Whitman of Greenbrier. In heavy traffic, a double team, and he gets it outside the Fugus. Firing the top of the key, good. And we got a whistle on the foul underneath. That's on Beard, on the big man. As Beard and uh, Miller contesting in there, Beard got his first foul. That's number one on Greenbrier. And Beard and Miller contesting for rebound position. So St. Clair brings it to the front court with the Tigers trailing by two. To ease on the right side. To the west, deep in the corner. Getting it to door on the baseline. It's tipped away out of bounds by the Spartans. And it'll be Tiger ball on the baseline. As yeah, they're collapsing on Miller, they've got their zone packed in pretty tight. As the wind will end down it off the baseline. Hold it over his, flips it outside the east. Gives it to St. Clair. On the point position, top of the key. Puts it on the dribble, he directs the traffic. Now he brings it to the right side to east. East takes it into the lane, gives it back outside. They're going to back in, drill pop from 18 feet. They start. Right east, from 18 feet, right side. Tie ball game. As Judith will bring it to the front court for Greenbrier. To the right side. To Darnell, gives it back outside to Judith. To Darnell, he'll drive it to the baseline. Takes the shot, holds it up. Gives it back outside. Tigers are 1-3-1 one, one zone right now. And the shot by Judith scores from 26. And Judith got it again. 4-2. to Tigers trail. And St. Clair will bring it to the front court. Top of the key to the right side. To Eve. Eve up to the wick. Keeping the corner with it. Outside to St. Clair. He'll fire from the top of the key. It's off the iron. No good tip by Murray. No good. Three down. Pull down by the Spartans. It's Darnell control. Gets it to Bugis. Bugis to the front court. To the right side to Darnell. Darnell gives it outside to Bugis. Back to Darnell on the corner. As he gives it back outside, Bugis to Darnell playing back and forth with it. Now they go to Beard. In the post. Fires from the baseline. They cross the iron. No good. Three down to Miller. Out to St. Clair. Jeff on the move in the front court. They got a 3 2 Jeff holds it up. Backs it out. As they'll start the offense. St. Clair. The top of the key. To the right side to East. Mike. Dribbling with it, looking underneath. To the back outside to St. Clair. To Miller on the high post, he's up the free throw line. Finning can't get the shot. To the back outside, now the easy. He'll fire from the right side. It's off the plane. It's no good. Rebound. Comes to the center of the court. Picked up by Bugis of Green Drive. Into the front court. To the left side with it to Whitman. He'll fire good. Whitman from about 13 feet. 6 to 2. Tigers trailing. And St. Clair brings it to the front court for the Tigers. Yes, top of the key with it. To the right side to East. To the West, deep in the corner. Looking for Miller, can't get him open. They go back outside. He's up zone. is back inside the foul line right now. Z takes the ball, drives it to the lane out, backs it out. Can't get the shot away. Gives it to St. Clair, top of the key. The E's on the right side to the whip, deep in the corner. As the whip picks up the dribble now, gives it way outside to St. Clair. As yes, the E's on the right side. As the guy is patiently trying to find the seam in that zone. And Beard shoving Miller out of bounds on there. You see the show? That's what he is. The whip gives it back outside to E. And he's with the ball. On the dribble, gives it to the whip, deep in the corner. Now Miller moves to the inside position. Beard comes around and gets on him again. He's with the ball outside to St. Clair. And St. Clair directing traffic. Now to the whip. Now we got the whistle and the foul. That's on Beard. They finally caught him. They finally caught him. That's number two on Beard. He foul number two on the Spartans. The boy was going on for a long time in there, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And Beard's just going all the way out of bounds, wasn't it? 
Richardson on the base on his chin and for Pierce. He gets it back outside to Whitney. Check it out to Whitney. To Fugus and Fugus will start the offense. As Fugus gives it to the left side. To Gillespie, gives it back to Fugus. And now Gillespie goes to the baseline. He fires over to Whitney. It's off the plane so good. Step on on the rebound for the Tigers. Out of the pass. Bang it loose. Take it away. And they get it in. Darnell puts up the air. Darnell hits it on the transition turnover. 15-10. Tigers trail by five. And St. Clair to the front court. To the right side. To the whip. James holds it overhead. Looking underneath. To the back outside to St. Clair. To the left side to Stephon. To St. Clair firing the top of the key. Good. 20 foot away. He puts it to the left. 15-12. Tigers trailing by three. It's Fugus will bring it to the front court for Greenbrier. To the right side. To Darnell, as Darnell takes it toward the baseline, toward the corner, holds it up now, Zeke sets him off. Gives the top of the key to Whitman. Whitman drives into the lane, fires, we got a whistle, and traveling calls. <laughs> as the shot was put up too hard on the glass anyway, the Tigers will come off with the rebound, but the traveling call prior to the shot. The Whitman will inbound the St. Clair, the Tigers will get within one right here with a minute nine to play in the first quarter. To East, on the wing, left side. Outside the St. Clair, top of the key to the wood on the right side. He'll fly from 18 feet to it. Getting to it. 15 to 14. Tigers down by one. And Fugus looks at the bench, gets some instructions from Coach Paul Greer, and takes it to the front court. They're going to spread it out for one shot, looks like. And Gillespie with it all. The Fugus and Gillespie. They have to back and forth out there. As Gillespie with the ball right now on the left side, Tigers will match up with his man to man, maybe it's come out here as they do. As Gillespie with the ball, the Fugus, Fugus on the right side, gets help from Darnell. Outside the Fugus, he looks at the clock, 27 seconds showing up, starts to work his E, sets him off. To Whitman, and Whitman on the dribble with it outside, E swing the defense on him, gives it to Darnell. Darnell takes it down low to Richardson, he gives it right back outside. And Jesus with the ball, struck it toward the lane, goes into the lane, picks it up, he fires from 16 feet, it's off the iron, no good. Step on with the rebound with six seconds. Out to Eve. He's into the front court, top of the team, ready to go drive, he puts the shot up, and it's good. Boy, he played it close. He sure did, but it's a beautiful underhand layup. So, the end of the first quarter, Princeton 16, Green Valley 15. We'll be back right after this. We're back at the high school with the score at the end of the first quarter, 16 to 15. In terms of individual statistics in the first quarter, Jimmy Miller had six points, two field goals, two assists, foul line. Mike Eakes, three field goals, six points. Jeff St. Clair, one long bomb for two points. James DeWitt, another long bomb for two points. The Greenbrier East, they had seven field goals. They were one of two at the foul line. For Princeton, they had seven field goals and were two of two at the uh, free throw line. And Charlie White, quick, do you have any rebounding yes. yards? Princeton was seven for 14 in the field, so the Greenbrier East, seven for 14. And Princeton pulled down seven rebounds to Greenbrier's five. Okay, Russell Slater, the ball game for the Tigers. There's Miller tips it to Slater. To East, to St. Clair. St. Clair on the offensive. He's on the right side. Looking underneath, it's around St. Clair. Thanks for shot. Now he moves it to the far side, comes back to East on the baseline, near side, puts it up short, gets up by Miller. That's Miller, banner that ball up, and it goes in the net. 18-15, as Judas works it to the front quarter for Greenbrier, holds it over the head, Darnell on the wing right side. He'll get it back outside, Tigers in one 3 one zone. As St. Clair on the point, Greater Miller and DeWitt on the uh, middle line with the East working the base. As Judas directing traffic, now got the ball holding it under the left hand. Now he gives it to Whitman on the near side, with Gillespie on the near side. Gives it back to Jesus to Darnell on the corner. Drops it underneath to Whitman. He gives it back outside to Darnell. Fires no good. No rebounds. He was fouled by somebody. By Richardson, I believe. It is. And number one on Richardson. team found number five on the Spartans. And the Tigers run the post. And Bob, that reminds me, you did some checking just prior to the game on these free throws and what it's done for the Tigers. Well, I did. Princeton has out, uh, field goal, has been out field goal in six games this season that they've won. In four of the five games that they've lost, they've also been out field goal. So Princeton uh, has been an excellent shooting foul team. They're very quick. They play a sophisticated basketball, which causes the other team to do a lot of foul. As Miller hits the first free throw. By the way, the Princeton gave these one here tonight, 53 to 51, and we'll give you the uh, individual scoring on that at halftime. As Miller puts the Tigers up 19-14, he fires again. It's good. 20 to 15. 20 to 15, Tigers up by five. As Darnell 
Inbound to Whitman. Trying to get to Jesus intercepted by the whip. Ball knocked loose. Picked up by Greenberry. Jesus takes it to the front court to Greenberry. To the right side to Richardson. They bring it cross court to Whitman. They check into the ball game. Gives it outside to Gillespie. Gillespie. Cross court with it to Jesus. Jesus picked up a triple. He needs help and he gets it from Gillespie. Gillespie gives it right back to Jesus. He starts it down the right side. To Richardson. Deep in the corner. Outside to Jesus. They bring it in the lane to Whitman. Hooking out of the lane. Good. Whitman with a jump hook. Brings it to 2017, Tigers on top. And St. Clair it to the front court for the Tigers. To the whip on the left side. Goes to the baseline. Gives it back outside. They bring it around the horn to East. East puts it inside. Gives it back outside. And St. Clair to the whip on the other side. St. Clair now firing from 22 feet. Got it. 22 feet. Third end. 22 17, Tigers up. And Darnell gets the ball to the front court and leaves it for Bugis. Bugis on the offense with it for the Spartans of Green Diaries. Brings it to the near side to Gillespie. And he picks up the dribble. Has a knock loose. Says Miller. Picks up the iron pass. Miller out on the dribble. Picks it to St. Clair. St. Clair got the bucket. And Miller with the assist. St. Clair on the bucket. Twenty-five seventeen. 17 Tigers up. And Whitman comes to the front court with it for Green Briar. Outside to Bugis. Bugis moves it left to right. St. Clair scrambling after the ball. Bugis amazing. To Gillespie, down the key with it. Gives it across court. Sign for Gitsy and North Court. Inbound, pull down by Miller. And Miller leads it out to E. And E runs over top of Judas and they got a blocking foul. On Pete Judas. <laughs> that was a very close call. I believe the ruling would be that he didn't give uh, Pete's room to come down. If he was but it's very close. Up, he doesn't have to give him room, does he? And he was there yeah. before he <laughs> came up here, wasn't he? <laughs> Very close call. Well, that means on the free throw line for the Tigers. He'll shoot a one and one. 24-17. Tigers up with 5.37 to play in the first half. Mike Hughes on the free throw line for the Tigers. And he'll shoot a one and one. As Mike will fire with the right hand, he puts it up. It's good. Mike, uh, what? 76 to 50 Mike, 74. 74 percent free throw shooter. Okay. As he's on the line, ready for one more. 25-17, Tigers up by eight. Five to the to play in the first half. As he tries again, he got the line and rolled it up and in. 26-17, as the Tigers press. As Gillespie gets it to Bugis. Bugis in the front court to left side to Whitman. To Richardson puts it up, no good. Rebound, front court, it's on the air. Picked up again. Picked up by Richardson, and he's got it. Robert Richardson, Green Dyer, gets the tip. 26-19, as... St. Clair works it to the front court to Trader. That drives the lane. Picks the shot up. Comes out. No good. Rebound. Pulled out by Greenberg. We get it up to the front court to Gillespie. Gillespie went for Richardson. Has the turn. He gives it right back to Gillespie. And Gillespie will start the offense. Try and get it down low. It's taken away. It's the East. Goes after the ball. Goes up for the interception. As Mike East took it away to St. Clair. Yes, to the front court with it, top of the key. He's the whip on the right side, drives the baseline, goes all the way under, whips it out to the east side of the key. He fakes, fires, good. We got a hook and a foul underneath, and that's off Trader, I believe. But it was good. And the foul called on Russell Trader. That's number one on Russell, team foul number three on the Tigers. So it'll be out of bounds for the Spartans. 28-19, Tigers up by nine figures. And Green Bryce will have the ball. As in the ball game is Rogan for Green Bryce, and he takes the front four. We got a whistle on a foul. And it's on Jeff St. Clair. And that's first one on Jeff, team foul number four. So it'll be out of bounds to the Spartans in the front court as Bugis will inbound it. Johnny Lopen is in the ball game. Johnny also a quarterback in the football team, by the way. With a few quarterbacks in the back court now, Bob. Second half. As Darnell 
Ready for a second attempt. He picks up with the right hand. It's on the way and good. 28-21. Tigers up by seven now. And St. Clair will bring it to the front court. Bring it through the top of the key to the left side to E. He's looking underneath, gives it back outside the jet. To the right side, to the wit on the wing. To Miller on the low post. Fight, puts it on the floor, puts it up no good. Miller rebounds. Puts it up again, got it. Miller staying with it, and got it. 30 to 21. As Logan into the front court with it. To Whitman, tying the top of the key, good. Whitman, 17 foot, turn around, jump shot, drills it. 30 to 23. And St. Clair comes to the front court again for the Tigers. To the right side, to the left side, to East. Close to the inside, we got a traveling call. 30 to 23, Green Bar East ball in the backcourt. As Wesley checks into the ball game for Green Bar East, D.C. Wesley comes in, and checking out will be David Darnell, the Emma Breeder. This is an inbound to Logan. As Logan moves it to the front court on the right side. Pass deflected on the floor. We got a foul on Miller, and Gibby is hurt. I think he may have hurt his left hand. As Gibby still on the floor, he's on his knees right now. Still very gingerly, now he's to his feet. But he, he says he's all right. And Gibby going up to get that ball came down on top of one of the Green Rider's first and rolled off of it. It looked like he came down on his left hand. He was trying to break his ball with it. And Wesley will be on the uh, free throw line. He's a 30, he's a 63 percent shooter. From that, he's on the line shooting a one and one. And Wesley, five, it's good. 30 to 24, Tigers up by six with three. 45 to play in the first half. C.C. Wesley on the line for the Spartans. Got his first point of the night. Going for a second one right now. He puts it up. It's good. 30 to 25. Tiger leads Frank to five. And St. Clair brings it to the front court slowly. Watching that Tiger offense set up. Top of the key. Now Jeff will pop. Good. 23. 32 to 25. Tiger's up by seven. As Logan will bring it to the front court. He gives it to Jesus. Jesus back to Logan. He's on the right side. Throws it all the way across court to Wesley. Spins into the lane. Fires off the glass. Got it. Good move by Wesley. 32-27. As St. Clair will bring it to the offense again for the Tigers. The E's on the right wing position. Mike searches toward the baseline. Goes to the baseline. Fires. It's in the iron. Got it. He called it out and finally dropped. 34-27. Tigers up. As we got a dandy ball game. Groban into the front court with it for Greenbrier. To Bugis. Back to Logan. High post with it to Whitman. Whitman holds it up. Gives it back outside to Logan. Trying to get it from their side to Bugis. He'll fire from 18 feet across the iron. We got a whistle and a foul underneath. And it's on Russell Slater. It's on the Tigers. It is on Russell Slater. Number two on Russell. Team foul number six or seven on the Tigers. And getting into the ball game is Hansberger for the Tigers. Take care of the rest. And uh, Stefan Murray will check back in. 251 to play in the first half. 34 27. Tigers up. About uh, Preston at Greenbrier East now, they were leading at 16 12 at the uh, half, and they were at the five. I mean, they were leading 16 12 at the quarter, up to five at the half. So, that's Robert Richardson at the uh, line right now, and he just. Is that 15 or 45? 43. 43 with the ball. Just put it in. 34-29, Tigers cut by five. There's Hansberg in the front court with it. To the left side, to E. As E with the ball quarter court, gives it back to Hansberg. So the near side is the wet, looking underneath. Keeps it across court to E. Works to the baseline, goes to the baseline. Works to the shot, good. 36-29. As Mike E. Picks it up. And the Green Rock brings it back to the front court. Whitman to Wesley. Wesley on the baseline. Fine, good. There's Wesley, a pretty good looking ball player coming off the bench. 36 31, Tigers up with Hansberger to the front court. To East, to Murray, deep in the corner, back outside to East, pushes it into the lane, gives it back outside. Now they go to Miller, Miller on the high post, works to the lane, gives it to Hansberger, firing the side of the key, no good. Rebound, underneath, we got a whistle of a foul, and that is on David Whitman. It is on David Whitman of uh, the Spartans. That's number one on Whitman. And let's get the step out on the line to see the one-on-one. Step 
Stephon's a 51% foul shooter for Princeton. Princeton as a team is hitting 75% uh, of their foul shots this season, which is a pretty good answer. And Stephon's fouls is good. He'll have another attempt. He's going to hit that quality. I guess that's what makes it work. Well, that's what makes it work. I hope he doesn't change anything if he shoots next to like he just shot that one. 37-31. Tigers up by six. As the official comes over to the bench to get a towel, they've got a wet spot on the floor. And the official goes back, and of course everybody says, ah, oh, he finally found his two calling. Now these officials are from Mingo County. Did you mention that they will be the officials for the sectional tournament played uh, next, win next, Thursday, next Friday night? Next Wednesday and next Friday night. First, first round on Wednesday night. I think they are. First round on uh, Wednesday night between Bluefield and Mountview, and the Tigers get the winner of that next Friday night over the Armory. And tip off for that at 7.30, by the way. 7.30, yeah. So Stephon on the line now. He's ready to fire. He puts it up. It's good. 38-31. As the Tigers will press. As Logan in the ball with the ball in the back court, middle and up the loose and kicked it out of the back. That's the drop kick. <laughs> that looked like a volleyball uh, spike to me with the foot. He tipped and it came down. As it came down, he just had to be coming forward with the foot. It hit. So now Logan with the ball in the back court for Greenbrier against the press. They double hand him. And he gets it over to Whitman. Whitman into the front court with it to Richardson. Richardson on the move with it. Trying to get over to Bugis. This loose on the floor. Picked up by Logan of Greenbrier. Back to Bugis. Firing out of the corner. Off the flank. So good. We got a whistle on the foul underneath. From Wesley. And it's called on Wesley of Greenbrier. <coughs> now, Wesley was a starter when Princeton played up. Uh, and at, uh, you see Wesley uh, uh, doing a little temper down there. A little bit of back up away from the play on that, wasn't there, uh, Bob? Yes, there was. And, and of course, he did raise that hand real quick. Well, yeah, he felt guilty about it. Now, so, uh, Wesley's on the line. Averaging 3.8 points per game. He looks like a better ball player now, doesn't he? It does. He's already got a buzz there, but she has uh, six points. As he's trying to free throw good, he'll have a second one. As Mike Gee's getting ready to fire one more. 39-31, as he fires. Good. 40-31. Tigers up, and he'll press with a minute 46 to play in the first half. It's out fast to Judas. He runs over to Eve, and the ball goes out of bounds. And it's... Tiger ball? Yes, sir. Yes, yes it is. It was, uh, he, he, if you just lost control of it, he's feeding. He went over top of Eve. The ball went out of bounds all by itself. It's out past the width. Gives it back to Eve. Eve moves it outside. Down to St. Clair. He's just back in the ball game. Back to the width. Firing out of the corner. Off the iron. No good. We got a whistle on the foul underneath. And that's on Fugus. And by the way, did you uh, happen to see Richardson uh, still, still hurt him? Yes, I did. He almost doubled Jimmy Irvin with the mailbag of the stomach. Yes. As Bugis off for his second foul and it puts Stephon on the line to shoot a one and one. Looks to me like Green Bar Ace is a little frustrated out there. They're very physical, aren't they? Stephon on the line to shoot a one and one. He's got the first one up and on the iron, no good. Rebound pulled off by Richardson. Pitch it outside to Whitman. Whitman into the front court with it for Green Bar. Top of the key, the left side to Wesley. As Wesley will fire now. Off the iron, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds and it'll be. Tiger ball. And the Tiger fans want to walk on that Richardson. That's probably one of these. He didn't walk, he quit. But he, he did fly. And St. Clair brings it to the front court for the Tigers. The E, D. Holds it up. Gives it back to St. Clair on the left side. A minute 14 on the clock. To the whip. Deep in the corner left side. Out to St. Clair on the wing. To the whip. Deep inside. They got ease in the lane. Looking out for a three second call. He's put the shot up. He's got the foul. Before he had it, he had the uh, three second foul. He's made sure the world. As Wesley fouled him. Now this is a very 23. He's all on Bugis. Okay, it's number three on Bugis. Now he's the guy that they can't afford to lose. It. That puts Beard with three and Bugis with three. And Greenbrier East wants a timeout. So with a minute five to play in the first half, Preston 40, Greenbrier East 31. We'll be back right after this. A minute five to play in the first half, Preston 40, Greenbrier 31. Let me run down the scoring for Princeton so far. Uh, Mike Eve leads the scoring with 16 points. Jimmy Miller has 12 points. Jeff St. Clair, 8. Stephon Murray, 2 on two foul shots. And James DeWitt is way below his scoring average with just two points in this first half. But it has been a good half for Princeton. And, and the interesting thing is that halftime that we can look at is Princeton shooting percentage. At Greenbrier East, Princeton shot 29% for the game. And right now they're 15 of 29, which is a little better than 50%. That's not bad. 
I like that kind of shooting. I guess Ralph likes it pretty well, too, though. So far, I've enjoyed this game. A <laughs> lot <laughs> better than what we saw over there, wasn't it? All right, we'll have Mike Eads at the free throw line for the Tigers. With a minute five to play in the first half of Mike. Tires with the right hand, it's good. He'll have a second attempt. Taking the game now for the Spartans, number 31, David Darnell. As David Darnell checks back in the ball game for Greenbrier East. Tigers again, it's good. 42-31, Tigers up by 11, Hillcrest. As Darnell, inbounds it to Gillespie, he gets in the front court to Wesley. He gets it to Logan. Logan will start the offense on the point now. The Tigers in a 1-3-1 zone. And Gillespie with the ball, left side. Holds it up, gives it back outside to Logan. He's directing traffic over there. Wants somebody moving, now starts it down the left side. He comes back to Wesley underneath, he puts the shot up, and it is no good. Rebound, fought for underneath, and he comes out with it for the Tigers. On the move with it, they double team him. He's still moving. Gets it outside the sack player. And Jeff will take it to the front court for the Tigers. Just spread it out. With 33 seconds, he'll wait for the last shot. The C3 is over in Greenbrier. They're going to try to make a match out to a man on man. Or make them open the zone up to the open some scenes anyway. And St. Clair is standing out near the center line. Now he gives it to Stephon. Stephon gives it right back out to him. As they take it around the horn again, as St. Clair and Stephon is... St. Clair with the ball now, moves it over to the center of range, stands there. To Eve. Driving to the baseline, we got a traveling call. He saw the open board, he was going, wasn't he? Yes, he did. He got the wheels moving for the ball got there. He, he made a really nice layup after he uh, rubbed his wheels a little bit. 42-31 with nine seconds on the clock as Logan brings it to the front court. To Darnell, back to Logan. The really near side to Gillespie, firing from the key, no good, rebound, fought for. We got a whistle on the foul from Stephon. At the buzzer, 42-31, that's number three on Stephon. As the halftime is over, and uh, they, they, well, they're saying it said no foul is after the buzzer. No, they're oh, right. Okay, nobody's going to line up. They're going to let him keep the foul good. The foul counts. That's number three on Stephon. Darnell's a 69% shooter, averaging 11.6 points a game. And Darnell on the line to shoot a one and one for Green Drive. He fires. It's good. We're going to second it. And Darnell will get one more. And the Tigers are already down near the position and ready to go in. And the top score, Princeton, 42. Green Drive, 33. Jumps to the middle of the lane again. He fakes that far. We got a three-second violation. And I'm not sure that was three seconds because that ball was put up. Well, the hit was in anyway for that. And then Jimmy helped the ball after he got it. So he never did move out. So the green drive brings it to the front court. With the ball is Darnell. Darnell on the right side. Trying to get it to do it. Took away the lead. Picked up by Miller. Out to St. Clair. As the Tigers run into the front court with it on the offense. Get St. Clair. Gibbley. To Eve. Eve on the right side on the wing. Looking underneath. Here's the Miller on the low post, spinning, fires over Darnell, got it. Oh, 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 oh. They're getting north on about 12 feet, left side baseline, drilled it. 44 33. And Green Rock comes to the front court, gives it to the ball. To the far side with it to Gillespie, goes to the lane, puts the ball up, we've got a whistle and a foul underneath. And that may be on the whip. Hey, goal, no good. And boy, they're really on the coaching ball, and the foul's on number 43. Oh, did he say 43? He said 43, he said five. The foul on number 40. Jimmy. All right, that's number two on Jimmy. 44-33. Tigers up. As Gillespie goes into the lane, fires. Comes off behind, no rebound there to foul on the lead. And that may be on uh, Gillespie. I think the uh, Zimba. It is. That's number one on Gillespie. Team foul number one on the start in the second half. And we've got some fans from Green He's really getting on these officials. We'll be there if somebody sit down here in a minute. He gets up like this, too. <laughs> and St. Clair to the front row with it for Princeton. The E's inside the keys. Up at the Slater in the corner. Russell gets it back outside. Mike comes toward the circle. Holds it up now. Puts Russell deep in the corner with it. Slater goes to the baseline. Fires all the way across. Rebound. Go down into Wick. Foul. Gillespie. 
That's number one on DeWitt. And deep down number two on the Tigers. There's Darnell. And bounces. To Jesus. And Jesus will bring it to the front court. To the left side to Gillespie. Gillespie. Check by Frazier. One, three, one zone for the Tigers right now. As the left of the ball, holds it high overhead, looks at the bucket. And now finally gets Jesus over the outside. To the right side of Darnell on the wing. Back to Jesus. Back to the heel fire from 17 feet off the yard. No good. Trader rebounds to the Tigers. And it's not played out of bounds by the Spartans. The Spirit had a hand. No, it's a big Tiger ball out of bounds to the backcourt. You know, one thing that's come very often. The Spirit gets that ball inside. He's not going to the hoop with it. Um, he'll get it back outside. He just hasn't gone to the hoop, but he's had that ball inside this half. And Zeke to the front court. Grab the key, goes to the lane, he'll find 17 feet or so of the iron over the rebound. Tips around, comes to the floor, tips around, still picked up now by Darnell of Green Drive. Give it to Jesus. Jesus into the front court, starts it down the right side. Into the corner with it to Darnell. Dribbles once, they go to Beard on the low post, goes underneath, and St. Clair took out of the ball. St. Clair got it on the floor, there's Lessman for it. And we'll have a jump ball, and Beard St. Clair. Two redheads going at each other there. Boy, I don't know about that. Beard yeah, just played a little bit of temper there on his own. Well, Beard's about 6'6", six, six, about 240 pounds. Gift's about 5'9", about 140 pounds. And it'll be Beard's going to turn the top. And the tips control it. Frazier takes it away. Got it easy. He's in the front court. Back to Frazier on the way. Gives it back to St. Clair. In the lane. Fires off the iron. They get picked out by the whip. Picked up by Gillespie of Greenbrier. Gives it to Beard. He gives it back to Gillespie. He'll play it to the front court. And Gillespie on the table, leaves it for Jesus. Jesus on it, set it up. Keep in the corner with it to Darnell. Flying out of the corner. Got the side of the board, no good. Lead by the St. Clair. Jeff into the front court under pressure. Holds it up, and double team. Take it away. And we come out with it. Gillespie yeah. putting the ball on the dribble. And he's running into the ground. <laughs> We're going to have Tipper playing up this minute. Yes, well, because this game is getting a little bit out of control. <laughs> They're going to get some simple playing at the end of the play now. No, I don't think it's that the officials have lost control of the game, but just the pace of this uh, third quarter is just hectic. As Z gets down to the Hogs, he's going to get the ball in, gives it back to E. Goes the corner to the whip. Firing off the baseline, no good. Rebound. Well, down underneath by Whitman, he is fouled by Biller, and that's three on Jim. And team foul number three on the Tigers. No, if it's a bit third foul. Well, that equals them up. Beard and Biller both have three. 44-33, Tigers up, as Judas puts it to the front court for Greenbrier, on the dribble with it, 1-3-1 zone for the Tigers, to the right side, to Gillespie, Gillespie in the corner with it to Darnell, back to Gillespie, Gillespie looking inside, they get it to Beard on the low post, fires off the baseline, they come down for a good ball, whips it down, we got five on the lead on Darnell, and so a rebound, and foul for Darnell, that's number two on Darnell, team foul number two on the Spartans. So the Tigers will have the ball out of bounds on the baseline. 44-33, Tigers up by 11, 4.53 to play in the third quarter. And Hogsburner working to the front court. To the left side, to E. Deep into the corner with the left side. They go to the middle on the low post. Spinning, put the shot up off the glass. No good. Rebound, front court, kicked out by Greenbrier. They got a three-on-two fast break. As Judas, Judas is working on the far side. Kicked away by Miller. Goal, Captain, called on Miller.
Gives it over to Gillespie. Gillespie to Logan. Logan into the front court with it. He'll set the offense and he shows it to Whitman out of bounds. And Whitman did not get the ball on the left side. She was calling the beer, walking, walking the chili girls right there. I mean, walking, walking the official of that call. <laughs> Heath to the front court with it for the Tigers. To the West, deep in the corner left side. Back outside the St. Clair. Firing the side of the key. It's off the iron. No good. Rebound. Bounces outside to Whitman. Drop it to Logan. Logan. Holds it up. Moves it to the left side. Gives it back to, to, to Darnell. Firing. Good. Darnell from 14 feet. Puts it in. 52-39. Tigers on top. As Heath works it to the front court for the Tigers. Comes across top of the key. To the near side. Takes the shot. Gives it back outside to St. Clair. Jeff gives it right back to Mike. To the wet in the corner left side, firing off the iron, no good. Rebound to Beard of the Spartans. He clears it out. Gives it to Logan. Logan, lead pass down to the left. He's not close to a traveling call. Go ahead and get the fans up. <laughs> but now he was hit twice. He got him once. The wit got him once. But they didn't bring blood. It wasn't even maybe hit. I turned it over to the Tigers. That's the wit. Inbound it to St. Clair. 52 39. Tigers on top. As Eads and St. Clair talking as they bring it to the front court, and they're going to spread it out to spread out this ball. This zone as Miller comes to the high post. Eads with the ball on the far side, way out front with it, on the dribble. Works it in toward the Ash Park. Now gives it to St. Clair. Jeff throws it to the Witt down in the left corner. Gives it back outside to St. Clair with a minute and a half to play in the third quarter. The Witt back to St. Clair. Back to the Witt, deep in the corner. Drives, puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebound to Beard, knocks loose, and the Witt got it back. He puts the shot up good. That's the Witt, three misses, put it in. 54 39. A minute 12 to play in the third quarter. Logan to Wesley on the high post. Gives it back outside. The Darnell left side. Firing from way outside. Good. We got a whistle on a foul underneath. I think it's on the Wesley. It is on CC Wesley. He can't believe that. That's number two on Wesley. And was the bucket good? Yeah, yeah the bucket's good. Because they foul on rebound position. Yeah, it's not strong. And That's good. 54 41. The Tigers up by 13. They went on the line to shoot a one and one for the Tigers. A minute six to play in the third quarter. I'm tempted to ask that fan who, won. <laughs> who, who made the pass. It's uh, Darnell. Darnell, okay. As the Witt fires the first free throw, good. He'll have a second. 55 41. Tigers up by 14. A minute six to play in the third quarter. As uh, James Witt will have one more crack at it. He fires. It's good. 56 41. As Gillespie. Brings it toward the front court and into the front court for Greenbrier. The wind hits him off. He gets it to Logan. Logan picks up the dribble, gives it back to Gillespie on the right side. Back to Logan, they go around the horn with it to Darnell on the far side. Drives it to the baseline. Crater cuts him off. Gets it to Wesley in the lane. Firing off the flame, no good. Beard slaps it underneath, picked up by Darnell. Picked up by Wesley, puts the shot up. And we got a foul. How come we didn't get three seconds call over there? We got a foul on the Tigers. They call the bucket good. That would be Russell Strader's fourth foul, and the bucket was good by Wesley. The bucket good by C.C. Wesley. The foul on Russell Strader. 56-43. Tigers up by 13, but Wesley on the line to shoot one with 43 seconds to play in the third quarter. As Russell committed to his fourth foul, uh -huh. fourth foul. And the free throw was good, 56-44. And Stephon checks in, and Russell comes out with the fourth foul. 43 seconds play in the third quarter, 56-44, Tigers up at 12. Mike East has the ball for the Tigers, bringing it toward the front court. Flips the two games to win in the front court. Moves it out of bounds. And it'll be Greenbrier ball. They bring it back to the front court. Logan with the ball. Works it to the front court, gets a pick from Gillespie. Works around it and gives the ball to Gillespie. They go to Beard on the low post. He tips it to the corner to Darnell. Drives to the lane. Fires. Good. Darnell brings it one to them 10 with 20 seconds to play in the third quarter. As the Spartans pressing, he's with the ball. Gets it to the front court. They double team him. He gets it to St. Clair. Jeff works it to the left side. To the wind in the corner. Looks underneath. Gives it to Eads. Top of the key. Firing. Good. Eads puts the Tigers up. 58 46. With two seconds on the clock in the front court with it. And the buzzer sound. Into the third quarter. Princeton 58. 
16 to 50, a 10 point lead for the Tigers. As Mike East with the ball in the backcourt, gives it to St. Clair. St. Clair runs up four with the to win, and it's not this out of bounds, tipped out by Greenbrier East by Darnell. Oh, Darnell, and it'll be Tiger ball. <laughs> it's a win, we'll let down for the Tigers. He flips it out, front to East. To St. Clair, back to the way in the corner. James Ease in the lane, goes down the lane, fires over Beard, off the iron, no good, tipped up once by Miller, no good, and the ball is knocked out of bounds, and it's off of the Tigers. It'll be Greenbrier ball. And Fugus will bring it to the front court for Greenbrier East. And he lost control of the dribble. El Colo, he gives a start out high post to Gillespie, corner left side, back outside out of Wesley on the right side of the key. As Wesley will flip it back outside. Fugus with the ball. They come around the horn with it to Wesley. He'll fire from 18 feet. It's off the eye. No good. Rebound to Beard. Puts it up and in. That's Beard's first two points in this ball game. 60 to 52 as the Tigers lead drop to eight. As he's with the ball in the backcourt. He's double teamed. He gets it to St. Clair. Jeff into the front court. Gets it back to Eve. Mike double team with it. And he is fouled by Fugus. That'll be off of Fugus, will it? Or is that on Wesley? It's on Wesley. On C.C. Wesley, so that keeps Fugus alive. <coughs> That's number three on Wesley. And it'll put Mike Eves on the line for the Tigers. He'll shoot a one and one. 548 play of the ball game, 60 to 52. Mike has 22 points so far in the ball game. As he fires good. Mike Eves. He'll have a 23. 23? What's the season time? The season high so far. As he put the single one, it's good. 62-52. Tigers up by 10. With a 26 points against Huntington. Okay. As Bugis with the ball in the front court for Greenbrier. To the left side to Gillespie. Back to Bugis. Stop the key with it. As they take it around the horn to Gillespie. Brings it back to Bugis. He comes all the way to the near side. Now he'll fire from this side. It's off the iron. No good rebound to the whip. He is fouled as he comes down with it. And that foul will be called on Gillespie, I believe. Wait a minute, who did he call on? 31? That's on David Darnell. He could have fooled me. He did fool me. You did go right, it wasn't Darnell in there. That's three on Darnell. Three on of course, Darnell's the leading scorer for Green Bar East. And that's 17 the, points. Put the win on the line, he'll give a one on one. As the Ricks fired the first one, it's good. We'll have a second attempt. If you want to watch a little side play, now watch Wesley and Miller on the lane on the left side. Why'd you go at it now? 529 to play. 63, 52, Tigers up. As the whip fires. And the great fire comes to the offense now, serving the Tigers by 12, 64, 52. Wesley has a good hit movement that makes sense. He sure does. Judas. In the front court with it for the Spartans, but on the point position, drops it to Wesley in the way. Wayne firing off the iron, no good, rebounds up to the floor. St. Clair resting for it, we've got a whistle and a jump ball between Darnell and St. Clair. 64-52, Tigers up by 12, 5-14 to play in the ball game. St. Clair to jump against David Darnell, Darnell at 6-3, St. Clair at 5-10. Maybe. Gets control by St. Clair. He gets in the backcourt. He throws it down. Works down on Bugis. Fire. Scores! <laughs> and here's Bugis hit the floor. No call. But he puts up the circus shot. 66-52. Greenbrier comes back to the front court. Throws the ball out of bounds. Here's a tiger ball. And the Spartans will try out. So with five minutes to play in the ball game. Preston, 66. Greenbrier, 52. We'll be back right after this. 66-52. Tigers up by six, by 14 big points with five minutes to play. And Greenbrier's got two time out there. That's so probably a future fill of As the Spartans out here, that's the time out. And they've got Robert Richardson into the game for the rebounding hell. C.C. Wesley and David Darnell. Pete Fugus. And Jay Gillespie, he's very sitting down, I guess. There he's still with some speed. And St. Clair works it to the front court for the Tigers, breaks the press, goes down, drives the lane, goes under, lays it up, he hits foul, the bucket is good! That bucket went in! And Miller was up over the rim, but they didn't call any goal hang on that. Bucket is good, and the foul is on Wesley. That's number four on Wesley, and that puts St. Clair on the line to shoot one. 68-52. 
too. St. Clair went through that zone like a dose of salt to an old base. Well, he, he knew all the way down the court that unless they did something pretty spectacular, he was going for that basket. And he made the bucket, and now he's got the free throw, which he makes. 69-52, Tigers up. And Jesus will bring it to the front court, to the court. Come to the center ring. Top of the key, the right side of the diamond. It is getting awful rough under there, and I, uh, the uh, Green Bar yeah. fans kind of felt like that uh, there was a lot of hitting in the... You could have picked who you wanted to call one, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, and the officials chose not to select. <laughs> As Wesley checks out of the ball game for the Spartans, and Whitman checks in. As Wesley with the ball for the Spartans, left side quarter court. Took the answer bucket, goes to the line. Here's it back outside, throws it out of bounds, and Cubis breaking to the bucket. And Gillespie goes behind him, and Gillespie just been belted over pretty good by ease of on that previous play and no call on it. It's one of those uh, situations where no harm, no foul really means something because they were kind of sideways and the contact was incidental to the play. It didn't really have... As the wheel with the ball in the corner for the Tigers, so they lays it up good. Go in. It's the layup on a foul of that from... Uh, St. Clair, 71-52. And Jesus with the ball, top of the key for the Tigers. To Gillespie, Gillespie, corner court, looking out for Jesus inside the key, doesn't shoot. Puts it on the floor one time, they go to Darnell deep in the corner, now to Richardson, hooking off the left side of the lane, no good, ball tipped out, picked up by Jesus, top of the key. To Darnell, firing deep out of the corner, good. 71-54. And Jesus with the ball, the back court against the press of Greenbrier. As you get it to St. Clair, Jeff throws it up court to the wet. The wet drives underneath, looks at the door in the lane, goes up. He is fouled by Whitman, had him by the hand. And they may call that on uh, Darnell, but let's see who they call it on. Call it on Gillespie. That can't be. Well, okay. Well, it works out because they, they missed the Gillespie while ago, called it on someone else. As Doerr foul on the dribble, he'll have a one-and-one. As Wesley will check back into the ball game, and Gillespie will come out. How many on Gillespie is that? That's two on uh, Gillespie. Okay. Okay, yes, he's not in foul trouble, so that's good to that you call, though. <laughs> okay. No one on the line. He'll fire. It's good. He'll have a second one. 72-54 with three and a half minutes to play. Jimmy has 17 points, going for his 18th point. As Miller ready. He fires again. It's good. 73-54, Tigers up. As Darnell inbounds it to Jesus for Green Drive. Jesus brings it across the center ring on the dribble. To the left side, to Darnell deep in the corner. To Whitman, Whitman on the wing, gives it back outside to Jesus, looks underneath, trying to get underneath to Richardson, has it now, it's on the floor, eats it in the scramble, we got a jump ball. And it'll be Eads and uh, Whitman, I imagine. Now Whitman, three this side, about 6'2", isn't he? He has a couple of inches on the mark. And he's six foot. And Pete Baird comes back in for this part, coming out of this week. That's Doug Baird coming back. You know, we forgot to get uh, Mike Elmore's prediction on this game. Yeah. No, we didn't either. I got he, it. He's he's 16 in the blowout. So he said it. As the tip, controlled by the Spartans. Out to Bugis. To the right side to Wesley. Fine from outside. That's off the flank. No good. Rebound. Tipped to the out and controlled by Eads. Deep in the corner. And he bounces it off on Whitman's foot. And it should be Tiger Ball. <laughs> and Eads is. And the Green Bay player asked for the ball. And Eads says, get away from here. <laughs> As Eads with the ball inbounds. Gives it to St. Clair. Jeff on the dribble to the near side. In the front row with the Stephon. To Miller in the lane. Faking. Firing. Off the flank. No good. Tipped up by Stephon. No good. Rebound pulled down by West near Greenbrier. Out to Bugis. Bugis the front court. As St. Clair goes after him to take the ball away. And there's a foul on St. Clair. He didn't go to the back. He would hurt him. That's number two on Jeff. 73 54 with 250 to play in the ball game. Tigers on top. Mike Elmore's uh, prediction of a 16 points in the blowout, very close to a reality. Yeah, but he'll run with Jerry Wade instead. Now it'd be very difficult. As you get fired the free throw, it's good. He'll get a second one. 53 55. 250 to play in the ball game. Tigers up. And Jesus converts the next free throw. 
And the Spurs will press. Inbound fast comes to the of the Tigers. On the dribble, coming down the left side, still on the backcourt. Gets it to St. Clair. Breaks the press over the front court. Has it off loose. we got a whistle and a foul. And it may be on St. Clair. And if it is, that's number three. And that's Bill Wesley on the line for the Spartans. 243 to play in the ballgame. 73-56, Tigers up. And David Darnell will go to the ball to the free throw line. Uh, Darnell, a 69% free throw shooter on the season for the Spartans. To fire a one and one. He's ready, he fires, it's good. He'll have a second one. 73-57, Tigers up by 16. 2.43 to play in the ball game. There's Darnell on the line again. He fires, it's good. 73-58 as Stephon inbounds it to the width. They double team in the backcourt. He gets it to St. Clair. St. Clair to E. D. brings it to the left side. Gets it to the front court. To Miller. Miller goes under. Goes up. Puts it in. And Beard hit him on the way out. But he's all right. 75-58. Tigers up. As you just into the front court with it for the Tigers. To the left side to Whitman. He'll fire from 18 feet. It's off the iron. No good. Beard rebounds. And St. Clair tripped him. They call Jeff for the foul. Jeff got three quick ones here now, that's four on him. Two nights came to play in the ball game. Preston 75, Greenbrier 58. One important factor in this game uh, so far is that Beard has two points and he's on the foul line now and could increase that. And in the previous game he had 16 points for Greenbrier East. There's Doug Beard on the line for the Spartans. Fires the first free throw, it's good. He'll have the second one. 75-59 as Hansberg will come into the ball game for the Tigers. St. Clair will get a rest. As Hansberg coming in and Stephon coming out, they're wanting to get the guards in there to get the ball up forward against the press. The dribbling. Ball handlers. As Beard on the line to shoot the second free throw. He fires. It's good. 75-60. Tigers up by 15. As inbound pass to Ease. He's in the backcourt with it. They double team looking for help. Gets it to St. Clair. Jeff way in the backcourt now. He is fouled by Wesley. Five on Wesley. And five on C.C. Wesley. I'm not trying to make excuses for this. Preston's has played an excellent ball game, and, and uh, Greenbrier East really hasn't played a potential. But they left two uh, boys at, back in uh, Greenbrier East. They left Laubin, and they left uh, Johnson. And uh, Johnson played an excellent ball game for them the last time around. He had uh, There's Dolan points. and Johnson they left, were it? Huh? Dolan and Johnson's not here. Uh, I believe it's Logan, number 10. No, Logan's already played in that. Logan. Okay, so it's Dolan's Dolan. up here. And, Dolan only uh, had two points. But Frankie then. Johnson, now Frankie Johnson was a real fine ball player for him up there. Yes, he was. He was about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, played forward for them. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, averaging 10 points a game for them. But now, 55, 60, Tigers up right now with 2.13 to play. If Preston holds on wins this, that will mean that they have split with the five teams that, that uh, beat them this season. And they lost those games early in the season, and they came back and won the second game in each case. Not so. North Fork. That's right. North Fork, uh, they beat North Fork first, first, and then North Fork came back and beat Prince. That's the only exception to your season, that one. Now, North Fork plants by a ball, I wouldn't be at all surprised to learn tonight that North Fork could beat Williamson. And early in the season, I felt like Williamson might be the best team in the state. They're rated number one right now. See, I predict that way before the season starts. on the free throw line, fires, no good. Miller rebounds, goes under, puts it up, he is. Ball for Traveling. It'll be out to the court. There's Darnell, inbound to the music. Hugus brings it to the front court. To the point position, 1-3-1 one, one zone for the Tigers. They drop it to Beard, low post, goes under, lays it up to the left hand, got it. 75-62, Tigers up by 13. As the wind gets it to Hansberger in the front court, he is fouled by Whitman. That's number three on Whitman. And that'll put John Hansberger to third cheese. On the line. You know where that cheese nickname comes from? Well, we, we discussed that on the way back yesterday night. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you tell them where that comes from. Or, or where some of the cheerleaders thought that that came from. As no comment? No, I'll <laughs> <laughs> The fire's good. 
Well, if you put cheese with his last name, with the second uh, half of his last name, what do you got? Charlie, what have you got? He's <laughs> 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 down on the line to shoot the second free there. 76 62. Tigers up. As Hansberger fires, good. 77 62. A minute 55 to play. The Tigers want to take it now. We just got to worry about the final score. As Hugo's in the front court with it to Kenny Rose, who gets in the ball game. We got a whistle underneath and a foul, maybe on E. If it is, that's number four on him. It is on Eve. Mike's down there looking innocent. I'm out in touch. What's he doing fouling Beard anyway? <laughs> for a freaking little guy to foul. The line. Doug Beard on the line for the Spartans. And Beard will be shooting a 1-1. 77-62, Tigers up, minutes 26 to play. As Beard fires. It's in and out, no good. Rebound to the winner of the Tigers. As James clears it out, gets it to Hansberger, to Eve, gets into the front court with a left-hand dribble, moves it to the right hand, turns it down the left side, brings it back outside, works it around the horn, now looking for help to pick up the dribble, got the win in the corner, and we got a traveling call. A minute and a half to play, a minute 32 to play, 77-62, Tigers up. As the Spartans will bring it to the front court. As Darnell with the ball, up to the beard, he'll fire from the middle, that's off the iron, no good, rebound, flips around, flips out, and needs control for the Tigers. On the move with it, reverse dribble, wait for traffic to clear, in the backcourt, now he moves it to the front court. to Miller, deep in the corner, as Miller holds it overhead, trying to get it back outside, it's the pass deflected out of bounds with Hugus, it'll be Tiger ball. Being fair to Beard, he is suffering from a little bit of flu all three night, Mike. He's recuperating from it. As the time on the court, ball taken by Greenbrier. He just steals, goes out, lays it up, comes out, no good. Tips up by Whitman, no good. Ball tips around and Eads has got it behind the back, dribble in traffic. Into the front court. As Eads waiting for the traffic to clear, still with the ball. Looking for help now. They double team him. We've got a whistle and a foul. That's number five on Bugis. And the foul call on Pete Gugas, number five. The foul on the inquiry is number 23, Pete Gugas. That's it. Gugas, I don't think there's a foul was on him, does he? Well, there were two players right there on Mike. And they really sandwiched him in and sort of squeezed a little bit. As Logan comes back into the ball game. 51 seconds up to play in the ball game. 77-62, Tigers up by 15. He's on the line. He'll shoot a one-on-one. As he's waiting for the ball, now he gets it. Yeah, he puts it up with the right hand. They pull the trigger short. Rebound comes off the front of the iron. Rebound the beard of the Spartans. Gives it out to Lopen. Lopen into the front court with it. Trying to drop it underneath. The rule is taken away by Eads out there. As Eads comes out with it. Still in the back court on the dribble. Mike takes it to the front court. To the west. To St. Clair. St. Clair to Hansbarger. Back outside to Eads. As he's on the dribble out front, works it around in the circle. Brings it back outside. They double team him. He bounce passes to the wick. 26 seconds on the clock. The wick in the corner. Outside to Eads. He's way outside in the front corner of the court. Gives it back to Eads in the corner for two. The wick. The wick gives it back to Eads. He's on the dribble. 15 seconds on the clock. And Mike holding it against the double team. Moves it down the right side. Looking for help. Gives it to James DeWitt. And seven seconds on the clock. He got Hansberger underneath. He'll fire. Two good. No good. Rebound. Put up and Miller grabs the rim. Technical foul on Jimmy Miller with three seconds to play. Jimmy going up the tip and the ball went high and he thought it wasn't. He grabbed the rim and hung there. And they called the technical on. Jimmy Miller. As everybody congratulates Jimmy for grabbing the rim. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll put Doug Beard on the free throw line for the Spartans. As, uh, Beard fires. It is no good on the technical. As the Tigers, 77 62, three seconds on the clock, Logan with the ball. Goes on the corner with it to win on the shot, real good. Final score, Christmas 77, Greenberry 62.
And we'll be back with more. First, let's pause for this. The final score, Preston 77. Greenbrier 62. The Tigers put together four quarters of 16 points, 26 points, 16 points, and 19 points for a game total of 77 points. Greenbrier East had 15 points in the first quarter, 18 in the second, 13 in the third, 16 in the fourth quarter for a game total of 62. Final score, Preston 77, Greenbrier East 62. As Jack and Joe and Amy White come by to give Bob congratulations on that big bouncing baby boy. And Sherry, we hope you enjoyed the game tonight. Hope you're feeling fine. Final score, Preston 77, Greenbrier East 62. The Tigers put it on the record now, 16 and 5 on the year. A sparkling season record as losing twice in the last uh, last 17 games, I guess. So that's not a bad 15 and 2 out of the last 17. That's not bad at all. Tigers will be in action now one week from tonight when they move into the sectional tournament. They'll play the winner of the Bluefield Mountain View game, which will take place next Wednesday night at the Fresh Fork Armory. The Tigers will play the winner of that game on Friday night, and the tip-off is 7.30. Big Way Radio will be there. We'd like to see you there. If you can't, be sure to join us. The Tigers opening up tonight with a one-point lead after the first quarter, 16 to 15. At the halftime, the Tigers were out by nine points, 42 to 33. At the end of the third quarter, they were out by 12, 58 to 46. And at the end of four, they were out by 15, 77 to 62. And Tony, you got the team task ready? Yeah, for game, Princeton was 26 for 59 from the field for 44 percent. They pulled down 31 rebounds, committed 13 turnovers. The Green Barrys, 20, they made 20 out of 54 field from the field for 38 percent. Pulled down 25 rebounds, committed 15 turnovers. It seemed like a rather reverse shooting percentage from the game up to Green Bar East and the game here. Princeton got a lot better than they did up there. That's right. They played a little more aggressive too, didn't they? Yeah, they did. I think that made a big difference. I think they, they need to play aggressive with you, Wilson. They sure do. They seem they will. Seem like if they can full court press a while and change change up get their zone a little aggressive, they shoot better and they run. They can run with two. I, I think you're right. Tigers victorious, 77 to 62 over the Green Bay East Spartans. They end that season at 16 and five. We're going to be back with individual stats. First, let's pause for this. And individual stats on the Tigers and the Spartans tonight. Bob Graham. Okay, Princeton closes out its uh, record 16-5, a very fine season, an excellent second two-thirds or three-quarters of the season. And for first for the Greenbrier East Spartans in terms of individual statistics, Beard came in, had two field goals, he was two or four at the foul line, all of his points coming in the fourth quarter. He had four fouls on the night and a total of six points. C.C. Wesley came in and played quite a bit after the first quarter. He had three field goals, he was three of three at the foul line and nine points on the evening. Darnell had six field goals, he was 9 of 10 at the foul line, and 21 points on the evening. Of course, they left uh, Johnson back in Greenbrier East with uh, the flu, and he did not play tonight. Pete Bugis, the quarterback of this team, fouled out of the ball game, the only player to foul out. He had two field goals, he was 4 of 4 at the foul line, and 8 points. Gillespie had one field goal in the first quarter and two points on the game. Richardson had two field goals, he was 2 of 2 at the foul line, and a total of six points on the night. Whitman had four field goals, two of four at the foul line, 10 points. Team totals for Greenbrier East, 20 field goals, 22 of 27 at the foul line for a total of 62 points. For Princeton, Jimmy Miller had three fouls. He played very well with those three fouls uh, in the third quarter, the third and fourth quarters. He had seven buckets on the night. He was 6 of 9 at the foul line and 20 points, two, almost three points under his average, but an excellent ball game for Jimmy Miller against a very tall Greenbrier East team. Mike Eads had four fouls, and he picked up nine field goals, eight of nine at the foul line and 26 points. That equals his season high against Huntington of 26 points. He's had 25 and 24 in other games this season. Jeff St. Clair um, played another outstanding ball game. He had five field goals. He was one of two at the foul line, 11 points. He did a good job of driving on Greenbrier East and taking the ball all the way to hoop and uh, catching Greenbrier East off, uh, off guard by taking it all the way to the hoop. Stephon Murray was two of three at the foul line and two points. James DeWitt had five field goals, six of six at the foul line, 16 points. 
and I believe I see a, Miss, a, a Janet DeWitt around close. <laughs> Gives you the evil eye. <laughs> but she must have known I was talking about James DeWitt. Uh, Hans Barger had, had uh, two, two free throws, two points, giving the t Tigers a total of 26 field goals, 25-31 from the foul line, and 77 points. And uh, Mike Elmore was very close to his prediction. He predicted by 16, and it was by 15. I thought that Princeton would play better uh, here than they did at Greenboro East. As you commented earlier, Princeton does not play well in the gymnasium at Greenboro East and shot only 29%. Charlie, what did they shoot tonight, did you say? 44% uh, for the game. That's a whole lot better than 29. Well, Greenboro East shot 38%, so it's about to reverse. How many shots did you see get? Yeah. Uh, East got 54 and uh, Princeton got 59 shots. Well, we got more shots than uh, Charlie. That's, that's the big difference. All right, we're going to be back with more. First, we're going to pause for this. Of course, they still made a lot of... That's a good way to end the season. Yes, 16 and 5 is okay. respectful. Okay, Tigers, 16 and 5 on the years. You say, Bob, that's, that's more than respectful. That's a very good season. Very tough schedule. Very tough growth schedule. Well, it is, and they started out in, in a bit of a hole because they were 2 and 3 at one point in this season. And now the Tigers going into tournament action one week from now. The Tigers seem to be playing well. However, uh, they're still missing one of their starters and they blocked him for the year as uh, Bill Harmon will not be with us. And uh, whether this will affect them as they go into the tournament or not, are they ready for tournament? Well, two, uh, last week I didn't think Princeton had been playing very well in the last two or three games. They had played better during the season. And if tonight's any indication, they're going to be very, very competitive and have a good chance of doing well in the, in the tournaments. But they have to keep and play at least at the level they played here tonight to do that. I agree. Charlie, final but comments. They may have been tired. They played uh, when they went in the, like, the Mountain View game. Six games in the game. They, they, game. they could have been in They played six the games thing. in two weeks. And that's pretty pretty hard on high school young. And some of them pretty tough road games. Sure was. Yeah. Parkersburg, Oak Hill. Uh, I mean, you play Parkersburg, Oak Hill, and Huntington all in one week. Uh, that's a very hard task. No best finish needed there either. Sure is. Okay, I'm Glenn May. I'm speaking on behalf of uh, Charlie Wright, Bob Graham. Been sitting in with me all the regular season, and we'll look for him in the tournament. And, of course, Craig is not with us tonight, and neither is Ann Miller. We miss uh, Ann, especially. Craig uh, is out gallivanting around somewhere. And uh, the people who helped us, especially uh, the Bowman girls, have been submitting the past. us all the JB information all year. By the way, the JB victory tonight, 53-51, in a real thriller. And uh, some of the individual scoring for Princeton, Harrison had 12, Livingston had 10, Jenkins had 8, Adams had 7. And so the JVs had a, a good season, and the Tigers can look for help from the JV squad. We might, we might remind people of the uh, junior high tournament again tomorrow night, again at 6.30 at the Brush Fork Armory. All right, Athens took the first game at 6.30, Princeton Fairview immediately thereafter, 20, right. 20 minutes after, I guess. Princeton Junior High is a good team, and if you haven't seen David Phillips and Scooter Will play, uh, it would be the last opportunity this season to see them play before they come up to the high school next year. Okay, I'm Glenn May, and we appreciate everybody allowing us to be a part of their basketball season and a part of their evening tonight. Back to the matter is, we say thanks so much for listening. Good night, all.